What's up guys? Today I'm going to tell you how much it costs to live in a luxury apartment in Israel. So just a quick introduction, my name is Noam Firuz and in order for me to explain you how much it costs to live in a luxury apartment here in Israel, let me just shortly show you where do I live exactly. I live in a city called Ashkelon in Israel. It's about 50 kilometers from Tel Aviv, around 35 to 45 minutes drive without traffic jams, of course. It's a big city, nice city, beautiful city with beaches, with buildings, everything. Basically everything you will expect from a big city to look like. Yeah, the population here is around 100,050 people. So yeah, it's a city. So before I will show you what exactly makes this place a luxury apartment, a luxury building, let me first break down to you the exact cost of living here, which is basically exactly why you are here, right? So let's go down to it. The biggest chunk that we all have in the cost of living is usually the rent. So let's start with the rent. So the rent price here for five rooms apartment with two toilets and two showers and basically you can do whatever you want with those five rooms. One of the rooms here is this one, which is my office. I made it in my office uh, with a nice floor to seal window, uh, which is awesome. We make it a panoramic view with to the sea. I will show you in a few moments. Just wait for it. Everything with the very high quality materials at the 18th floor of this building, which you can imagine, it's an amazing view. Let me show you a glimpse to it. Everything is 1,355 US dollars. The next big thing is the property tax, which is $130 per month and the house and building commit, which is basically the company that manage everything here, cleaning, keeping the building clean, keeping the elevators working. So this everything and the house and building commit, which is basically the property management company, which costs 165 US dollars every month. Now let's move to the fun stuff. We have the internet services and the TV services. So for the internet, we are paying 24 US dollars every month, but we are paying for high speed internet, which basically is supposed to be around 500 megabytes. Let's see a test of how much we actually have. So tell me in the comments down below if you are paying less for more or you're paying more for less. And while you're doing that, don't forget to smash that subscribe button <laughs> if you're a new year and you want to see more videos like that and to like this video it's free and it's good for the YouTube algorithm and it's pushing and exploding and very beautiful so do that let's move to the TV service so for the TV services it's divided to two and we have the local TV company here TV services which called yes TV and we are paying every month 60 US dollar which is a lot and we also have Netflix and we are paying 12 dollars every month for Netflix. So now we have one boring thing that we all need to pay here, uh, but before that, it's getting too warm here. This boring thing is apartment insurance. Apparently, nobody tells you that when you are a child or in school, but you need to pay apartment insurance for the things that you have here, which makes sense basically. There is all the expensive stuff, camera, computers, a drone, and you want to be insured about it. So actually it's a cheap thing. It only costs us 13 and a half US dollars every month, which is good. I guess it's okay. Tell me how much you pay for the apartment insurance in your country. And now three annoying stuff that we all need to pay around the world and we can get rid of it, I guess, as long as it's not Airbnb or something like that, which is is electricity, water, and gas. So for electricity, we are paying 150, 200 US dollars every month. Water is around 45 US dollars and gas is around 12 dollars every month. So before I will show you how much exactly the groceries and shopping and food cost us every month for a young couple here in Israel, let me show you what exactly makes this apartment and this building a luxury living. So this is a 20 floors apartment building. They just finished it, it's brand new. It's located around 800 meters from the beach. The building is very secure, there is cameras everywhere and you need to enter a code in order to get into the building and you feel very safe here. 
The entrance and the lobby of the building are very nice. You can see that it's made out of high quality materials. There is a TV in the lobby, music all the time, and also a very good smell all the time. Very cool facilities that we have here in the building. Private for the tenants is two jacuzzis and two saunas, which is great. You can say, okay, this is a luxury apartment. We have two jacuzzis and two saunas. Besides that, we have a shared floor with a nice playground for children and a tenants club with PlayStation, kitchen, place to rest. It's very cool, it looks very nice. And as you can also see, there is a giant olive tree in the middle of all of it. And we have three elevators for us to use. So guys, this is the facilities and everything in the building. Of course, there is the apartment with a nice Plus, one of the biggest expenses with this apartment, with renting it, was to buy everything new for it. Because we traveled before around the world, we came here and we needed to buy everything. A TV, kitchen appliance, refrigerator and everything, and a sofa and bed and office things. Basically everything in order to live nicely in this luxury building apartments and in the luxury apartment. Besides that, we have gym and a big supermarket, which is always nice. And besides that, of course, we have the three assets, amazing view, beach view, and this nature reserve that we can see. So yeah, let's get back to the cost of living here. We have the groceries, shopping, food cost, which basically cost us between 450 to 600 US dollars every month. Depends if we want to get some snacks and stuff like that, but basically that's the cost. In addition to that, if we will add the cost of going out or eating outside or ordering food, it will be around 150 to 200 US dollars every month. But you know, COVID, so we are saving that money most of the time. So all that sums up to 2,626.5 US dollars every month to live here in Israel in a luxury apartment in a side city. It's not Tel Aviv. It's Ashkelon, but still, it's a very nice city. So that's it, guys. I have nothing to add here. This is the video, this is the content, this is the stuff I wanted to speak about here in this video today. And if you want to track your expenses and you're still not doing it, and you want to be in more control of your expenses, this is the app that I use, Spendy, and it's a very cool app. If you want, I will put the description below and um, enjoy it, use it. It's helpful and you can see exactly and you can monitor exactly which expenses on which category and stuff like that. And of course, to connect your bank accounts or credit cards and it's very safe, it's very cool. I'm using it for around two years now and it's all good. So guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, of course, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like this video and that's it. I will see you in the next video. Bye. Bumble, bumble.